That's a wood thrush. Wood thrushes are pretty dang amazing. Dan here, another episode of Learn a Bird. Oh, man, it is mid mid May, peak spring migration. Last night, probably about two million birds moved into this county here in southern Maine where I live, including the wood thrush. So <clears throat> the wood thrush is one of our many members of the thrush family. It includes the American robin, uh, the bluebirds, and a lot of woodland thrushes, which are kind of a little more brown and secretive than the big kind of bright robins and bluebirds. So the wood thrush is our largest. It's also got the biggest, most obvious spots on its breast of all the thrushes. So you got these other thrushes here, like the veery. You got thrushes like uh, hermit thrush, Wainson's thrush, gray cheek thrush, the rare bicknell's thrush, but the wood thrush is the largest, the most brown, kind of like chocolate, beautiful chestnut brown on the back with big bold spots. And it does this gorgeous song you're hearing right now. And one of the cool things about the thrushes, and many songbirds, <clears throat> but thrushes um, have a lot of cool muscles that allow them to actually be making two different songs at the same time. So in their syrinx, kind of the equivalent of our, our larynx, our voice box, someone just got upset, um, they're able to they're able to vibrate at different frequencies by using a lot of their syringeal muscles, these little um, muscles attached to the syrinx. They have a very well-developed musculature in their syrinx that allows them to make these gorgeous calls. These birds are mostly found in dense cover of forest, a little moisture forest sometimes, not always. Um, they're eating a lot of invertebrates on the ground. And um, these are migratory birds, so they're not here year-round. We just get them um, coming through here in the spring and breeding in the summer sometimes, and then get them on their way back. But they're quiet in the fall, so good time of year to be out listening for the gorgeous, ethereal, flute-like call of the wood thrush. Now when they alarm, they do a pit 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 this little volley of and it's a really loud alarm, and often that'll tell you that there's some sort of predator around. So, listen up. Thank you, Woodthrush. Good bird. Okay.